hello everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me so essentially a chit chat get ready with me is where i sit do my makeup basically get ready get ready and um we chit chat about whatever so i thought it would be a good idea today to do kind of a chit chat um regarding me so i'm going to kind of go through the get to know me tag as i get ready and if you don't know what the get to know me tag is you can google it but essentially it's just a tag of questions where you can get to know the person that you're watching it's been around for a while so there's that don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's free it don't cost nothing <laughs> and also give this video a thumbs up um we can go ahead and get the conversation flowing down below i'm doing this tag so if i say something that kind of triggers you or is relatable to you go ahead and comment down below and we can chat about it all right first question where did you grow up hmm that's a good question where did i grow up i grew up in georgia um why i talk about where i grew up i'm going to go ahead and put some primer on my face so yeah i grew up in georgia i grew up in georgia where did y'all grow up at i'm from the south I, I like to think that people can gauge that i'm from the south when i speak because anytime i go like somewhere like north <laughs> Sometimes people are like, oh, you got you got an accent. And I'm like, no, actually, I don't got an accent. Yeah, I grew up in Georgia in a town called Columbus. And for people who normally associate Georgia with Atlanta, it is about depending on which part of Atlanta you referring to. It's about an hour and a half south of Atlanta. All right, next question. Where do you currently live? Same spot, I didn't move. <laughs> Who is your first best friend? My first best friend. Hey, best friend. Oh, no, my first best friend. Wow. My first best friend is actually this girl named Rika Johnson. I I feel like I, it, whenever I, do you ever feel obligated to always mention like your current best friend whenever you mention a previous best friend? You know what I'm saying? You kind of don't want to like negate your previous best friend. I mean, your current best friend because of your previous. I'm just all discombobulated. But just know my first best friend, she stayed at the street for me and her name was Rico. So how tall are you? Your girl. Hold on. Let me put this on my face first. Wonder how, how tall do you think I am? Let's start there. Like, how tall do y'all think I am? Now, at work, um, I work corporate. They have like pictures of us on our profile. And anytime somebody runs into me, they be like, oh, I thought you were so short. Based off of your picture, you look like you were a short woman. And when they see me and they see like, no, she not. Hold on, look, it's about to drip off my, my uh, let me hurry up. Okay, yeah. They usually are like, no, nah, you not, you not nothing like how I pictured you to be. Cause I guess in my pictures I look short, but y'all I'm tall, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8", so with heels on, I'm easily six foot, like easily. I'm easily over six foot with heels on, so. That is how tall I am. How tall are y'all? <laughs> I feel like I was always like the tall girl. At one point I was a tall girl with same height or even shorter boyfriends. And I felt like, no, I can't really wear heels because then I'm gonna be taller than him. And you know how that go. <laughs> when you a tall girl, you gotta just make a conscious decision to just only date tall men because you just not going for no short men. <laughs> because you want to you wanna look up to your man <laughs> and be like, Bae. You don't wanna be like, Bae. <laughs> I am a pretty 
pretty tall girl and I love my height I really do all right next question as I blend my foundation dogs or cats okay so that's a good question I actually think growing up dogs like for sure dogs and I still feel like dogs are like everything but I want a cat like I, I really want a cat in it but growing up like dogs for sure like I grew up with dogs but I feel like as an adult woman I want a cat like I really love cats I follow a lot of cat pages on Instagram I like to watch cat videos on YouTube on YouTube I'm just a little obsessed with cats at the moment so I don't know what it is I think just with age, I've just been curious to like be a cat mom. Get a cat at some point in my life. And I and I will get one. Next question. Funniest moment throughout high school. Okay, so I guess that means like what is my funniest moment throughout high school? I'm gonna have to think about it. I feel like I had a lot of funny moments in high school. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I think I don't know if this is funny though like I think I know I think my funniest moment in high school that I remember and I actually recently was speaking about was high school you know first year freshman you know coming in fresh there was hold on to me these questions getting kind of <laughs> Because y'all already know, high school and adulthood, it's just two totally different things. Like, if somebody would have told me uh, in high school that, you know, graduate, they say, get a job, they say. <laughs> My funniest moment that I can remember, um, and I don't even know if this is funny. This isn't funny. I'm just letting y'all know now, this ain't funny, but I can't really think of nothing funny right now thought about it. I should have thought about this question <laughs> before I answered it moments is like my first day of high school I wore a orange like collared maybe air apostle shirt you know those shirts y'all know those air apostle shirts and I wore like some white Bermuda shorts <laughs> which okay that's cute whatever but the shoes the shoes were some orange babes i'm gonna try to insert a picture of something similar because i don't know that i'm gonna be able to find the exact ones but basically one of my good um people in my life was like i'm gonna help you get some shoes I know you about to start high school. I know this guy that sells shoes. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, I need some shoes. And then he was he was like, I'm about to shoes. And I was like, well, good looking out, bruh. This was somebody that I considered, you know, like close to me, like a brother. And he bought me some shoes off of a back of a truck. So, you know, y'all already know if you're from the South and you're from Georgia and you buying shoes off of a back of a truck back in, you know, 06, 07 ish <laughs> time or any time in the 2000s, you already know that it's probably not legit. But my brother was like, oh, these the ones, everybody wearing baits now. You know, all the rappers and stuff wear them. These the cool hot shoes or whatever. And I was like, well, all right then. I like those. So he bought me these shoes. They had like a little lightning bolt or something on them. I don't know. They they were fake. The more the story is the shoes was fake. I wore them on the first day of school. I don't think I got teased about them. But I later on, out of high school now, joke about it amongst my friends that I still talk to that met me that first day <laughs> of school with the big thick orange ass shoes on. Yes, like you came to school with the babes. Like, <laughs> I'm like, 
them, them, they weren't real. They were not real at all, not even close. So yeah, I don't know that that's funny, but it's real, like. <laughs> Okay, so this is Future Ebony coming in while I'm editing this video. And I noticed that I didn't say that I was thankful for the shoes. Even though they were fake, I was still very thankful for those shoes because those were the only shoes that I got brand new coming into high school first year, like fresh. So I was very thankful for those shoes, even though they was fake and me and my friends joke about them, I was very thankful for those. So I just wanted to put that out there that I'm, I'm a thankful young lady. Like I don't just, you know, just be like, oh my God, they fake. No, I wasn't like that. I was thankful because if I wasn't, I wouldn't have worn them. So there it is. All right, next question is um, what year were you born you know i was born in the 90s i'm a 90s baby <laughs> are you in early 90s are you in or have gone to college yes i have gone to college i went to college and i have a bba a bachelor's of business administration and my concentration was management information systems. So essentially I have an IT degree that's mixed with a little business. Um, what is your favorite drink? Water. I mean, I'm a I'm a basic bitch. Like I drink water. I don't like to favorite drinks that aren't water. <laughs> Because, you know, you always have that one, like, juice or soda that you love. But I try not to favorite those type of drinks because I don't. I only need to be addicted to H2O. That's the only drink I need to be addicted to, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what is your spirit animal and why? Who? Wow, that's a very deep question. I've never thought about what my spirit animal is. But I would just kind of associate my spirit animal with my zodiac sign. So I'm a Capricorn, which means um, I'm the goat. So I guess my spirit animal would be the goat. You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? Okay, so right now, lately, I've been wearing, hold on, let me set my face, Cause you know, y'all already know this stuff right here is like life or death. And I'm actually shocked at myself that I'm actually doing this without like 17 other mirrors. Cause y'all know I be, I, my skin is way too dry to even be sitting. I don't even need to set my face like, and if anybody is interested in any other products that I'm using, I'm just gonna link them below because I'm trying to focus on like getting these questions answered for this tag. I don't wanna prolong this any longer. So <laughs> I'm not even focusing on letting y'all know which what products that I'm using. I'll just list everything down below. And if you got like any specific questions, if I miss anything, feel free to comment down below. Because you know I'm a real person, sis. Like I will talk to you. I will talk to you in the conversation. I like to respond to people. I actually like when people engage in my videos. Cause that just let me know that they watched. Cause I mean, even up until this point, people probably already clicked off cause people have short attention spans and people don't really like watch videos for long periods of time. All right, so you're wearing perfume, what scent is it? I'm not actually really big on perfume at the moment because my skin has been going like crazy. I can't really wear perfume or anything scented, but I'm not a perfume girl, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but I do have this um, Chloe perfume that I've been wearing and I really, really enjoy this scent. Or I like the Victor and Roth Flower Bomb, but, but I'm a lotion type of girl, so I like for my scent to kind of like come through my pores, if that makes sense. So I will wear a lotion with fragrance on it, even though I'm not supposed to, because I got every dry skin condition you can think of, and you're not supposed to wear nothing with fragrance in it, but I still do it, because I like, you know how when you go to the gym, and you shower before you go to the gym, and you wear like a nice, good smelling lotion, and as you sweat, you know, it like kind of, your pores start sweating, and then you start like smelling good while you sweat. Anyway. <laughs> 
Okay, so tea or coffee? Coffee. The question is tea or coffee, and I'm a coffee girl, but I love tea. Um, what are your life goals? Who I think my number, I think the only life goal I could probably share right now that's just like basic is just to be happy and genuinely okay with myself. <laughs> to be happy and to find my purpose and make sure that I'm always, you know, being, having a good heart. So, I mean, I think my life goals though as opposed to like career wise i'll just have to share that another day what sports do you play or have you played what sports do you play or have you played so i have done the following sports um track and cheerleading if it's i know some people don't consider cheerleading a sport but it actually is so i'm pretty tall i used to run track I was a really, 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 I was a distance runner. I didn't do, I was, I'm not very fast, but I can outrun you like distance wise. I'm just playing. <laughs> I can outrun shit now. Nah. I probably, I'm the type of person that get up right here and go to my kitchen and I'm tired. And it's like literally right there. So it says, what have any books you read changed your life? I feel like, yes, it was a book I read. It changed my life. Quiet by Susan Kahn because it just helped me realize that I'm an introvert. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? So my favorite movie is probably Love Jones, but I feel like Love and Basketball is still one of my favorite movies and I don't know. So, okay, no, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's unpack this. So me, I'm one of those people who like movies that are like fiction fiction. <laughs> like I like Transformers and like Avengers and stuff that's very like comic book superhero type movies but i feel like i can't choose one of those movies to be my one of my favorite i feel like my favorite movie is typically something of a just black first of all it needs to be black people in the movie and it just needs to make me feel some type of way and i feel like love jones does that for me who are your favorite youtubers who okay well where do we even start okay so first of all I love YouTube. I, that's all I watch. Okay, so my favorite YouTuber. I just first of all, my favorite YouTuber that doesn't really do YouTube no more is Shirley B. Anya. I used to be obsessed with her. I think I still am obsessed with her. Like I was actually just rewatching her videos like yesterday. <laughs> she don't even upload that much anymore. Um, but she is one of my favorite YouTubers. Some of my favorite YouTubers at the moment, though. Um, I like to watch Urban Extractions. So, but basically, she does extractions on her YouTube channel. Ingrown extractions. And specifically, in um, she does women in their um, bikini area. So I'm obsessed with those type of videos right now. So right now, her videos are some of my favorite. Now, another thing I'm obsessed with YouTube related is dandruff videos. <laughs> I I don't know why I'm like this. Oh, any any of those YouTubers that actually upload a decent video scratching dandruff out of their scalp. I'm your favorite, I'm your biggest fan, like, period, hands down, Nemo, Nemless, that's it. Jackiana, of course, Jackiana is, like, one of my favorites. She's just very comical. I really like, I really like YouTubers with a lot of personality, and I can tell she has a lot. Um, who else? It's just so many, like, I like so many. I love 
Jayla, Corian. She doesn't. I like the Ace family. Um, Ashley Diabana. I really like her channel. Aaliyah J. I love Aaliyah J. Just to name a few. Oh, this beautiful girl. Makeup, but makeup Tiffany J. Her channel is everything. And I love Tierra. Tierra Walker. Look, listen, I just feel like you can never pick. I could I could never pick one YouTuber because I just like a lot of people on this space. So it says, do you speak any languages? And how well yeah I speak English and I do a okay job speaking English <laughs> are you single or taken <laughs> what is your idea of your dream date so to me I feel like I'm gonna give you two examples of my dream date one example is just me getting all the food that I want popcorn chips chicken wings seafood boils whatever that may entail and just being at the house eating it <laughs> watching something on tv probably netflix or whatever probably find a movie or something and just chilling that's it but on the like i guess romantic side i think a dream date would just be something unexpected where it's like surprise i've laid everything out for you i just want you to come <laughs> with me on this date and whatever it is is you know let's do it i just like to be surprised i like to see the effort is put into my time you know what i'm saying because our time ladies is valuable so when these dudes be out here trying to date you I just be want I just be wanting to see that effort was put into the date. You ain't just, you know, make a reservation and you know, it's like let's eat. Even though I ain't nothing wrong with that. But you know, if you wanna go and actually have like a, a date that's just like rememberable, you wanna experience something on that date. Next question. How long was your last how long was your longest relationship? I mean, probably the one I'm in. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, it needs some work, yeah. But fly when I wanna be. What is your go-to hairstyle? Probably a sew-in. Yep, definitely a sew-in. Next question is, um, how many siblings do you have? Oh, this is a great question. I have, because I like talking about my family, but anyway, I have three siblings. They are all females, so I have three older sisters. I am the youngest. So yeah, I do have three older siblings and I love them to death. We are very close and I admire that about my sibling relationship. Close, but not like rivals if that makes go to fast food order okay so it, i mean it really just depends like oh okay so right now my fast food order the place that i've been obsessed with is this place called simple greek which i just get like a salad some grilled chicken with some toppings etc little greek dressing or whatever and then i always get the greek fries because they are everything Okay, it says, do you use a PC or Mac? I use a Mac, but I use a PC at work. So it's like, I use both. <laughs> Your most memorable vacation memory. Well, my latest vacation memory, which probably Vegas, but I don't, like my favorite ones, I don't think I can share. No, I had a good time on my last couple of vacations. And that that's that. But, are your morning and evening routine wake up chaos <laughs> wake up looking crazy looking like mm, <laughs> up and figure shit out so morning routine would be me waking up taking getting myself ready taking my nephew to school 
getting myself to work working all day and then i would proceed to get off work and either run errands do youtube stuff or go to the yeah, I can't even say it. That's how you know I ain't going. <laughs> but I'm actually trying to change my morning routine because I'm trying to be more productive. So tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. I'm very calculated. So I guess you can say that. I'm a very calculated person. I do things intentionally, but you wouldn't know that they are intentional. Your favorite genre of film and why? So my favorite genre of film would just probably be all black movies. What was your dream job as a kid? I'm pretty sure my dream job was just like a businesswoman. So like it doesn't even matter what she does, how she does it. If she was a businesswoman, I wanted to be her. Have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn? So I failed at a whole lot. Like I feel like I failed at so much stuff to the point where it's like, I'm okay with it like I feel like what I've learned is that you gotta fail a lot before you actually get something and perfect it and it's okay if you fail because to me failing is just another opportunity for me to learn so what are your pet peeves it depends on what is aggravating me that day so what social media are you addicted to? Probably just YouTube right now at the moment. YouTube and Instagram. I know like a lot of people are addicted to TikTok right now. But me, I'm still like, yep, I'm addicted to IG. I'm addicted to YouTube. That type of stuff. It says, what is the big, biggest struggle you overcame? So I feel like my biggest struggle that I overcame is just like the struggle and the battle that we all fight within ourselves. Like I constantly need to remind myself how I am capable of doing things and believing in myself. So I feel like the biggest battle of my life that I, I continue to fight to this day is the one within myself. Okay, so I'm done with the look and I am going to now answer the last couple of questions. The last couple of questions is this or that. So invisibility or ability to fly? I would say in, in invisibility. Cookies or cake? Cookies, Twitter or Facebook? Twitter, Coke or Sprite? Coke. Um blind or death death all right so that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below if you like these type of videos if you did like today's video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and yeah subscribe to my channel thank y'all so much for watching have a good one